Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Blue Lady and welcome back to another video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you all how I animate my pictures and my funny moments videos and all these other kind of videos that I do, Skywars videos and whatnot. Uh, this was actually requested by an awesome viewer of mine. The, his name is up here on the screen right now. A uh, very awesome uh, person. Thank you so much for suggesting this. Uh, he actually requested that I do a tutorial on this because he is wanting to know for himself. So I decided why not? Let's go ahead and do a tutorial. So if you guys don't know what I mean by animate pictures, I'm talking about something like this. Mom. God, you hit puberty fast. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Now that was actually in a Gmod prop hunt uh, funny moments video and I'm going to be basically recreating that. So how I did that is I first got my PNG image of the Gmod, well Half-Life baby doll and I cut out the background of it and I imported it into my editing software. So how I began is I simply clicked on the event pan slash crop button. I enabled the sync cursor tool. I enabled snapping actually it's right here I locked aspect ratio and I sized about center I clicked that I locked that into place so now you should have something like this where it kind of like locks in different positions as so now you want to start off with your main uh, your starting position so for me I'm gonna go ahead and have the baby doll start out uh, upright and then we want to make it kind of rock back and forth as if it's like yelling or as if it's talking or like it's throwing a tantrum or something so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one keyframe forward we're gonna go ahead and move it like so tilt it like that we're gonna go another keyframe in front we'll turn it the other way make it like tilt the other way one keyframe in front and you're just gonna want to keep repeating these steps like so then if you have a pretty long track like I have down here all you guys will have to do is simply click and drag to the second keyframe and then click control or command if you're on Mac C and then go to the end keyframe right here go one keyframe ahead or one frame ahead and then control or command V and that should right there there we go that should paste all your keyframes uh, in like so you don't want to copy the main starting out keyframe because that is gonna basically put your baby doll to where it's standing back up straight you want to just click and drag from this first one right here well the second one all the way to the last one and then click control or command uh, C and so basically all we're doing is copying and pasting it you can also just right click and click copy or paste uh, so this one I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and click paste and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click paste and then paste and actually drag that like so and then right here paste right here paste so now we have this all these different keyframes and now if we go ahead and we play the video back it'll look like this as you guys can see it rocked back and forth really really fast now you guys can actually adjust that if you guys want to um yeah you can make it to where it doesn't actually move that fast but of course if it's throwing like a violent tantrum or something you would want to make it rock back and forth like really fast but if you don't want it to rock back very fast you can always spread your keyframes out so that is six keyframes so we're gonna go one two three four five six so these six right here we're gonna go ahead and move them out like so and then we're gonna do the same so we can actually just let's let's just get all these really quickly and we're just gonna scoot them all down here I might actually speed this video up just while I do this All right, so there we have it. We might actually just move these ahead just a little bit. Let's go ahead and just click and drag. So I can select all of them. And boom. So let's just really quickly actually, let's move these back a little bit here. About to right there. There we go. That seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and drag these forward like so. So there we go. So if we play it back, it will actually be a little slower. 
as you guys can see it's not as fast it's actually a little bit slower compared to what it was earlier that's basically how i animate my images now you can also make them slide up and do different things so for example if we wanted to make it slide in from like the bottom um i'm sure there's some way to do it with like the transitions or something like that or like video effects i, I don't know i'm sure there's a different way to do it other than what i'm about to show you guys but this is how i usually make my images slide in like the um uh, other guy, what's his name? Uh, m the Mikel something, co the Culkin guy, the Home Alone kid, or whatever. How I did that in uh, that Gmod video is I basically did this. So for our starting position, we want our picture to be off screen. So if you guys uh, want to make it kind of slide in from the left or the right, or whatever, it's completely up to you guys. But I'm going to want to make it slide in from the bottom. So I'm going to make it go hide under the bottom, like so and that's going to be our starting position so say i wanted to make the baby doll slide in near the end of like its track so like maybe about right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a keyframe down i'm going to go one frame ahead and then put another one and then i'm going to bring the baby doll back up let's try it one more time let's see how it looks so as you guys can see it slides in if we wanted it to be a little bit faster we would move the keyframe closer to this one and then if we restarted it it would slide in a little bit faster now suppose that we don't have this keyframe here suppose that this is the keyframe where the baby doll is actually fully on the screen so it would go from this one where the baby doll is off the screen to this one where the baby doll is actually on the screen what it would look like is this that's what it would look like. However, if we had the baby doll like this and it was off the screen and then we put a keyframe right after this keyframe and we made it to where the baby doll was on the screen, then we would get that animation of it sliding upwards. So we take this keyframe and slide it right there. As you guys can see, it is not on the screen until after this keyframe right here. So that's how I basically animate my images. I know that this sounds a little bit complicated, but trust me guys, once you guys start getting the hang of it, it is super, super easy. You guys will start inevitably uh, doing this anytime you want to animate an image. So it's very, very easy, very, very simple to do. I know it kind of sounds a little difficult and complicated, but it, trust me, it's not. Coming from a very amateur uh, editor and YouTuber, it's not difficult it's not difficult whatsoever actually green screening and chroma keying is actually a lot more difficult than doing this so if you guys would just follow these tips if you guys would follow this tutorial properly uh, then you guys will get the hang of it in no time if you guys do have any questions however or any um uh, problems let me know in the comment section down below i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can let me know if you guys enjoyed the video if this helped you guys out if it did please be sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel please be sure to subscribe it would completely help me out i'd really surely appreciate it and yeah other than that guys my name is blue and i'll see you all in the next one